As you can see here, I got three barrels. They're connected on the bottom here with um, some water hose there, there, and there. Then the front here comes out and goes over to a valve, which is right here that I can use to run through and I have it hooked up it can water those water beds there now the system set up is my regular downspout water comes down and it hits this 2C pipe now from here it goes into here fills up all the way down to here stops right there on this kick out where water finds its level comes up to here goes across and then goes up into the barrels which fills all three of them up equally so the water fills up that line which comes back up to here and then it levels off to here now in between here I have some pantyhose that works as like a filtration system water fills up to this point right here which is the highest point before it slumps off goes back down the tube and into the drain like normal so that means all the water comes in there will fill this tube up to that point which then makes sure that all these three water barrels stay level to if you can see the glare it pretty much lines up pretty much evenly with that tube and then all three of the barrels Stay the same level. Now all the water gets sucked in from this barrel and since it goes through this barrel and this barrel and this one it means that this one should be cleaner. As you can see it does look a bit cleaner. The black barrels keep it nice and warm during winter so it doesn't even freeze. Matter of fact it was uh, frozen this year and um, I opened them up and I saw no ice whatsoever inside of them. So like I said, it keeps refilling. I can open that part right there up and flush out all the dirty water that could be in there. And change out the uh, pantyhose every so often. Turn it on and actually I'll do a little test here. So I can flip this. And see where's the hose at. There it is. Let's see. All that from the water barrel, which will go through when I have it. Let's wash out some nasty crud right now. It will water flower bed. I can turn it off. The only problem I have is, is they don't have a timer that works with no pressure that I can find. So I pretty much do it by hand. And I have accidentally left it on, turned it on while I was uh, doing something else in the garden, come back. And I left it on and almost all the barrels were empty. Which means I put about, you know, 90 gallons of water in that flower bed there. But, one little system seems to work pretty well. I might dig it up and fix it and make it more waterproof for later on. Because I do have a couple of little leaks that I need to take care of. But, it seems to work for a, you know, cheap. Alright. Thank you.